Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Uh, today I'm going to be doing some carburetor rebuilding. I've got a Yamaha 150 TXRC motor here. It's got three carburetor setup, two stroke engine, and um, I wasn't going to do a video on this originally because there's a lot of work and I didn't want to worry about it, but you know what? I thought I might as well. happening is the motor's not running uh it runs on ether but it won't run on its own gas and i uh, found that when we blew everything out the bowls we got all this sludge if you guys can see that all that white sludge i think what's happening is the owner of this boat has been running uh, uh ethanol fuel and it. it should be running marine grade fuel so uh, it's just it ain't, kick, it ain't picking up off the fuel that's coming through it so we know that we've got fuel coming up here when we crank it the pumps are working we're getting fuel to the bowls um, it's just not firing off it so everything's gummed up in there everything's just gone so what we're going to do today is i've got the owner purchased carburetor rebuild kit for each one of the carburetors this is, comes with the new needle seats uh jets gaskets everything i need to do this uh, to do this rebuild. I always like to take a picture when you got three carburetors in a row like this to remember how everything's set and since they all have to be kind of in sequence take lots of photos that way when I put it back together everything goes right back in place exactly the way it was before so uh, I guess let's get cracking. Let's see what we got. Oh, good lord. Ooh -wee. That is sludgy. I ain't doing anybody any good. Alright, so this is really bad. We're going to get these floats out of here. You pull these little pins out. And then the float comes right up out of there. And do the same for the other side. Pin out, float up. And now this gasket should come out of here. There we go. Now inside here where is where this needle goes. That needle sits in this hole and allows the fuel to go in. So as the fuel fills up, the float will stop the fuel flow. That's kind of the idea there. So, but yeah, that's really bad. And you can see crud all up inside all these ports. It's just gummed up. I've never seen anything like this. All right, so I've already had and pulled the jets out of here. I pulled the plugs out of there and I'm going to go through and blow this out with compressed air and carburetor cleaner and then do the same with the bowl. I'm going to pull the plugs out, clean this air all out. There's a little tiny, little tiny jets inside there. Well, not, not yeah, sort of, I guess, jets if you want to call them that. Um, but you got to pull the plug out to get to them. So we'll do all that, clean it all up, and we'll start putting the um, new stuff back in it. All right. Got everything blowed out. And then the bowl I've got in this solvent. It's, it's a old school carburetor cleaner, but it's sitting here soaking. So we're gonna get this out of here and blow it out, wipe it out. And then we're gonna put um, the rest of the carburetor inside there and get it cleaned out too. Alright, all orifices are cleared, blown out with compressed air, cleaned up, everything looks nice and new. I got new plugs. Um, I was able to pull these plugs out, clean them, and the kit came with new plugs. Same with the bottom of the bowl, got new plugs in there, all, everything's cleared out, orifices are clear. So the next step is to get the 
floats put in and this is always pretty tricky this is what i always have the most questions on so um, what you want to do the first thing that goes on here is the gasket in this particular case because the float goes in over that so you put your gasket down first and then your float and then your needle there's a little hook that goes on like so uh, probably hard to see in the camera but trust me and then you put the needle down into this little hole here. Yep. You be really gentle with it. This is just only so on there. Once it's in, in the carburetor, it can't go anywhere, but getting it to it is hard. So here's a better angle. And very carefully. set it down in there and then kind of hold it in place like so and then you're going to have a pin that you pulled out earlier that goes right through the float the back of the float here and the kit also comes with new pins so you're going to take that shove it through all the way Hard to line it up, but there we go. That's what you're looking for right there. And you can see the needle going up and down. Good to go. And we'll just repeat the process for that side. Okay. Three freshly rebuilt, cleaned out carburetors. Now it's time to put them back on the motor. And I'm gonna basically do this in reverse order starting from the bottom and work my way up just because it's easier to access that way then we'll collect all the connect all the linkages back up afterwards and then we'll see if the thing fires up all the carburetors are mounted on here mounts are tight fuel lines are hooked up linkages are all hooked up there's really not much to these linkages here. These just kind of snap on. And then you just check functionality. You got the choke. Choke's hooked up. And so now it's just a matter of hooking some fuel up to it. The fuel coming out of the tank I don't really trust right now um, to test on. So what we've got is the fuel line unhooked here with the primer ball. And we're going to run... Oh, there it is. We're going to run this into a, uh, a known good fuel and prime it and then fire it up see if it works. I can hear it pumping. Yep. Already got fuel in the filter. Is it stiff already? It's getting stiff here. Good. Run the, what do you run. think? I think we try it. Okay, here we go. You want me to put some uh, starter down there? Or? No, let's see what it does on its own first. Okay, it's uh, next morning. Um, we took some time, buttoned up the cover, uh, got all that stuff put back together. I wanted to get here before a delivery of the boat to make sure it starts right up and there's no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and get the keys here. And we're gonna make sure that this thing starts up. First go. Oh, that's right, we don't have the fuel hooked up. Gotta do that first. That should be good. We're gonna fire this thing up this morning on fresh fuel. Make sure that our work from yesterday is good.
choke it. They're gonna choke off. Alright guys, that's it. That's uh, rebuilding all three carburetors on the Yamaha V6 150 and uh, um, putting it back together, getting a primed up. Remember, always use marine non-ethanol fuel in these two-stroke motors and these marine applications. Otherwise, that gelling will occur, uh, especially if it sits for long periods of time. Um, we got out here this morning early uh, just to make sure it starts up first thing in the morning. No problems, no ether, no nothing like that. It worked fantastic. So. Um, again, thanks for sticking around guys. If you like what I do on this channel, please consider subscribing and uh, hit that like button for me. All right. See you guys in the next one.